Simple pendulum The motion is beautiful to witness and wonderful to understand. Materials required A small bob, cotton thread, meter scale, wooden blocks, vernier calipers, stand with a clamp, stopwatch. Let's measure the diameter of the bob. There are two methods to find the diameter. Place the bob between two wooden blocks. Use the scale and measure its diameter. Alternatively, we can use vernier calipers to measure the diameter of the bob. Consider a rigid support and hang an ideal string. Ideal string means no mass, no weight, no inertia, no tension, perfectly inelastic. Measure the length of the string. Starting from the top to the middle of the bob. Displace the small bob from equilibrium and let it oscillate. It oscillates a simple pendulum. Let's study the motion of the simple pendulum. Switch on the stopwatch and measure the time taken for 20 oscillations. Now, find out the time period of oscillation. T is equal to time for 20 oscillations by 20. Time period of oscillation depends on the length of the string L and acceleration due to gravity G. T is equal to 2 pi into square root of L by G. The acceleration due to gravity can be calculated from the equation G is equal to 4 pi square into L by T square. Acceleration due to gravity changes from place to place. Acceleration due to gravity on moon is one-sixth of that in earth.